Now let's look at a better way to certify only your employees versus using Certify All, which includes TLs that you are a backup supervisor for. This can be accomplished via Select Employees on the Supervisor main menu. Once on the Select Employees screen, use the drop down menu to select the current pay period, which is indicated with an asterisk. Then move over to the timesheet status where you will select All Validated. All Validated captures any timesheet that is ready to be certified. And then move over to the supervisor box where you will type in your last name. I like to copy and paste. Then click search. The page would then be filtered down to only your employees that are ready to be certified. Supervisors can only certify timesheets that are in a validated status. Click the gray box next to the pay period to select the list of employees that are ready to be certified. Then go below to select Certify Selected. Now you are viewing only your employees' timesheets. Carefully review the timesheet, look over the schedule, and any leave and premium pay requests will be listed. You can also review the employee's leave data and the timesheet profile prior to certification. The activity log tells who has touched the employee's timesheet and when. If everything looks good, go ahead and certify. The system will automatically advance to the next employee's timesheet, but you will also see the blue banner above that says the timesheet has been certified. So now you can scroll and certify with ease without accidentally certifying someone else's employees as a backup supervisor. You can go to the next employee if you like, if you like to skip an employee by using the blue buttons to the right. This particular employee has warnings a warning message. However, the timesheet is still validated, which does not prevent the employee from being, from being paid. Another awesome feature in, in VATAS is the supervisor has the ability to retrieve a certified timesheet. So let's go back to select employees. Again, the supervisor has the ability to retrieve a certified timesheet without c contacting payroll. To do so, when you go back to select employees, change the timesheet status to certified and pre-processed. Pre then click search. But know that if the status says certified, you can also retrieve that timesheet. So let's select the first employee. This employee has decided after you certify the timesheet that they want to go home early. So you need to return the timesheet to the employee so they can submit their leave before leaving for the day. So select the box next to the employee and click timesheet. Go to the bottom of the timesheet where you will select Decertify. Notice that VATAS prompts you to put in a remark for decertifying a timesheet. So we will add Return to Employee 
to add leave. Then click reject or decertify. Notice that the timesheet is now unvalidated, which means it is back in the hands of the timekeeper, which also allows the employee to go into VATAS and submit their leave request. The timekeeper would then validate the timesheet and send it to you again for certification. Use the breadcrumbs to go back to the supervisor main menu and this completes certifying only your employees within VATAS.